Hi, I am Ivy, I am six years old, and I just saw Jacqueline Glenn commenting on the dumbest Christian I have ever seen. Hey guys, so today I think I'm going to be responding to the dumbest Christian video I've ever seen on YouTube. Thousands of people around the globe are inflicted with the terrible mental disorder called atheism. Can I join in? A doctor? He's kidding, right? My name is Wayne Fillmore and I'll be your host for this evening's programming. Thousands of people around the globe are inflicted with the terrible mental disorder called atheism. Atheism is a mental disorder that takes nearly 4.8 million people around the globe. Let us look at the Netherlands. There are 16 million people. Less than 40% believe in God. There are about 7 million atheists alone in that small country. Where did you get that ridiculous number? It convinces the victims that there is no such thing as truth. There is no God. We all came from a big explosion. We evolved from a puddle of soup to fish to apes to men. And they have absolutely no evidence to claim this. You are so silly. The Big Bang happened, and it is easy to prove. Since years we know that the universe is expanding and the only thing you need to do, is to virtually reverse the film to see where it came from. Just look at it. And evolution happened over hundreds of millions of years, you make it sound like it took place in a few days. That is your own explanation, called Genesis, from your storybook called Bible. A puddle of soup to fish to apes to men. Yeah, that's not exactly what people think. Evolution is something that has been proven. It's a very gradual change over a large amount of time that's hard for most people and obviously this guy to comprehend. It's actually in fact something that we haven't pulled out of our ass. It's been when a Christian has a disagreement with another Christian, because they have an ultimate standard or because they have an ultimate authority, which is the Bible, then if two Christians disagree on a morally objective subject, they can go to the Bible. When two Muslims disagree about a morally subjective subject, they can go to the Quran. There you have the Bible, and yes I have read the Bible and countless of other books. I have never seen a book that contradicts itself as bad as the Bible does. This picture shows it nicely. Yes it is a very good means to solve problems. And the Quran, that is also a fine source how to solve a disagreement. Wow. I think I just used sarcasm. But when two atheists disagree, well, who do they go to? Who do they turn to? Uh, they can go to scientists, but then again, if they're atheist scientists, then what is their ultimate authority? Not their authority they can go to sometimes, but what authority do atheists consistently go to? We use our common sense. I know I cannot kick you in the nuts, because that will hurt you. And I don't want to do to you, that I don't want you to do to me. No holy book needed for that. Which is their ultimate authority for how they live their lives. And the answer to that question is, well, in atheism, the minute you say there is no God, which God being the ultimate authority, the minute you say there is no God, then you don't believe in an ultimate authority. So for any atheist to say anything is true or false, they have to deny their atheism, they have to step out of their atheism and believe in God when it's convenient for them. This program to get rather silly. Now I do my best to keep things moving along, but I'm not having things getting silly. How sweet to be an idiot. Well, at least you are in good company. Atheists say they believe in logic and reasoning and truth. Well, it's completely illogical. Let me explain something that's obviously very confusing to this guy. Atheists do believe in truth. That's why we're not religious. We don't believe in a bunch of fairy tales. We actually value reality. And the minute you say that there is no God, you have to use these guys, this guy's moral standard against this guy, which you don't even believe in. Okay, let me get this straight. So you're saying that when an atheist doesn't believe in God, 
they're using God's moral standards to decide that there is no God. So does that mean that God's moral standard is to be an atheist? Let us hope so, because in the Bible, God's morals killed more people than the devil did. So, in about 5 minutes and 4 seconds, I have debunked atheism. I mean, <laughs> you got a slow clap with me, he did a pretty amazing job. Well, in 5 minutes and 4 seconds you have proven that you are the dumbest Christian in the world. Doctor. Yeah. Right. <sighs> and it feels good. I need a drink. It's hard to watch this shit, I hope you guys know what I go through. I know Jacqueline, but you are not alone, and that is a good thing. Smart people will always stand together against ignorance of this kind. Jacqueline? Will you be my mommy?